and hello all my cuddly face tube people I had a great night last night, it was a really peaceful night uh, there was no donkeys making noise, no dogs barking no cockerels at 3.30 in the morning so I had a really good night and because this is in like a it's a strange place, it's like it's in a, a valley there's an oasis in the middle it's really quiet it's really nice and uh peaceful there's lots of shade as well with all the palm trees anyway today i was thinking of going north and then doubling back to go through some twisty bits but i'm feeling a bit fragile today maybe it's my age um but lenny's not feeling that energetic either and we both got up a little bit late today so what i fancy doing i fancy taking a couple of days off and lenny's feeling that way as well uh, so what we're both going to do today we're going to head south to a place called wazazati and looking on i overlander there's a, a lake there and there's a place to camp so that's where i'm heading and that's where lenny's heading i'm going to take a couple of days off and then once I feel as though my batteries are recharged, I may go north, I may go south, I may go west, I don't know. But uh, anyway, it's just a small journey today, about 120 kilometres, 150 kilometres, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to take it easy today. So this is us, this is me, signing off for another day or two, and I promise you, uh, when I get to the next place, when I get to Uwa Zazati, I'm definitely going to do some video editing and get some videos uploaded. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello.
I don't know why the navigation sent us here, but at least it's a great view.
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? You sure? Okay. Yes. Be, be calm. Take your time. So probably here is quite good, but there's some shit around. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, what do you think? Good, yes. Yeah. And hello to all my cuddly friends on YouTube and fuzzy friends on Facebook. And hello to John from Penpont. How are you doing, mate? Uh, Ozzy says, it's your turn to get the, the pints in next time, okay? Right, here we are. Another day's ride. Uh, I didn't feel like going farther to far today. And I know that um, Lenny didn't feel like going far today. Uh, Lenny said he wanted to have a couple of days rest. And I wanted a couple of days rest as well. And... Um, I could have stayed at the auberge a couple of days, I suppose, paid for it, but the lure of free camping uh, is, was an attraction, uh, was enough to get the bike packed up, and that was it. So we left, headed west, and we rode about 150 kilometres today, 150, 160 kilometres today, and we're at this beautiful lake. And the strange thing is, according to Google Maps, we should be about two or three metres on the water, but we're not, because the lake is mostly empty. But uh, it was a bit of a traumatic time. We'd actually come down with... Initially, we were on the other side, which seemed okay, but it seemed quite busy. That was the side on the background, uh, just in the background there. Um very popular so what we decided to do was come around this side uh, which is a little a little quieter and just over to the left just over to this side here is the water's edge but we're in between bushes as well so we're out of we're out of sight really but the sun is just starting to set now it's 20 past six in the evening and it's pleasantly warm there's a little breeze and it is beautifully silent. It is wonderfully silent. It's great. I did see some ducks earlier on. But that was it. And um, yeah. So today was a good. It was just easy. Very straightforward. We stopped once for fuel. And stopped once to look at the camels as well. Uh, as we've been coming west, we've seen, we've seen more and more camels. Uh, which for us, for a Westerner, <laughs> it's quite a novelty, isn't it? It's quite a novelty. Um, so we got here and we got down and we finally found a way down. Uh, it was all right for Lenny. He's on a nice bike and he's, he's good at off-road. But for me, I mean, a few heart-in-my-mouth moments with this big beast because she's not built for this terrain, really. Uh, most of it's okay, but there were some bits where there was big rocks which was uh, a little bit traumatic like let's say so i'm going to stay here for a few days it's been a great ride today and just behind is the atlas mountains i'm going to stay here for maybe two days i want to get some uh, some videos edited 
and I just fancy a little bit of a rest and, uh, and we'll see how it progresses. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. And good morning to all my fuzzy friends out there in Facetube land. Good morning from a, a sunny Morocco. It's mid-morning, it's starting to get warm now. And um, today I'm going to do some video editing. But I just want to add this on to the previous video because last night it was a surreal experience. The sun goes down about 20 to 7, by 7 o'clock it's pretty dark, by 8 o'clock it's completely dark. And because there's no light pollution, you look into the sky and all you see is a, a plethora of a zillion stars. It's breathtaking, it's beautiful and it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen. You don't get anything like this in Scotland. I'm sure there's parts of Scotland you can go to where you can... But there's no light pollution and you can see the stars but out here because there's no light pollution it's amazing anyway earlier in the evening we knew there was camels around because we could hear them and we saw some about a kilometer away no problem and by about eight o'clock we could hear them a little, a little bit closer but noise travels in the evening no problem at all but then by about nine o'clock, this noise, these noises got close, so close that you could hear the brushes and the brambles moving. And being the sort of person that I am, I'm thinking if there's, if there's camels have come this way, what if they walk over our tents? I heard Lenny Zip go, so I had a, I looked outside the tent and lo and behold, in front of us, there was lots and lots of camels. There was one about three meters in front of us and the rest of them were about five meters away in a big line all facing to the west and amazing all the camels because you don't hear them they're, they're they've got very soft pads you just don't hear them all we could hear was the the brambles moving and also their their noises their their grunts getting closer and they were all just in front of us and there was lots of rumbles and there was also lots of wookie noises um there was one camel must have been having an argument with another one because there was lots of wookie noises not the high-pitched wookie noise but the low rumbled wookie noises and this went on till about 10 o'clock and then it just went quiet and i thought i will have a look in the morning and take a few pictures and i woke up about eight o'clock and they've all gone and at the moment, they're just behind us on the other side of the lake. I've taken a few pictures, so I hope you can see them. Um, we did a rough count, and we reckon there was about 21 camels. 21 camels. But it was a completely and utterly surreal moment. All I'm thinking about earlier on is, I wonder if the camels are going to trample all over us, but obviously the camels have got great nighttime, nighttime vision because they're animals. So they knew they were here, and they were just surrounding us which was utterly surreal utterly amazing and a great experience but um and that's one of the things really when you're camping like this is your safety uh, that you need to take into account um, a few nights ago when i was traveling south i looked on eye overland and it recommended one place to do wild camping and i went there and it just didn't look safe at all um there was like a shanty town nearby and I thought, no way. And if you come to a place and you want to camp and it doesn't look safe, you just got to move on um, and then find somewhere that is safe. And when we came here yesterday, we didn't think it would be, we, we thought it'd be reasonably safe. When we got to that, this actual position, we looked around and we saw lots of camel dung and we thought, hmm, camels have been through here. Then we thought nothing of it. Um, but obviously this must be a little place that camels come to in the evening to, to sleep. So we were a little bit starstruck last night, a little bit overawed. Um, and we feel quite blessed that we've shared an experience of sleeping with the camels. And true to form, we are now surrounded by camel dung, <laughs> which is great. I wonder if it's true that you can burn it. I might try that today. Anyway. 
all my cuddly friends on YouTube and my fuzzy friends on Facebook. This is just an update and today I'm going to get some edit video editing done. So thanks for watching and I'll be in touch soon. Bye bye. Right, that is